Pong Jack is a 1984 arcade platform game released by Tecmo, then known as Tekan, where the player controls the eponymous hero Bomb Jack as he jumps around the screen trying to collect and defuse bombs. Once one bomb is collected, the bombs will light up in sequence, and if a lit bomb is collected, another one lights up. Collecting the bombs will increase a bonus meter, and when this is completely filled up, a circular bouncing P will appear on the screen, which will turn all enemies into bonus coins. Enemies included are birds and mummies, but should any of the walking enemies reach the bottom of the screen, they will be transformed into a flying type, bizarrely a UFO or a flying orb which will be able to chase Jack around the screen far more effectively and aggressively. And of course, if you touch one of these enemies, you lose a life. There are other bonuses available to Jack, however, though you will occasionally see uh, a bee bouncing around, which will increase the score multiplier, the E, which gives an extra life, and very rarely you'll see an S, which is kind of like a continue in that it awards a free game. The game is set on five different screens, each taking place at a different famous location, and these screens cycle. So when you get to the end of the fifth screen, it will go back to the first screen, but with a different layout. The game found some success. It was the third most successful arcade unit in May of 1984, according to Game Machine in Japan. It was topping UK software charts for home computer versions. And it is these home computer versions that we're interested in, as today we'll be looking at the 1986 Amstrad CPC 464 release. So let's don those tights and start defusing some bombs, shall we? Ah, nice colourful title screen that I remember for Bomb Jack. And here's our start screen. That is a nice effect that's going on, but it is really quite garish. <laughs> so... Okay, and it just kind of resets. Oh no, that's a high screen there. Okay, Tom, Dick and Harry at the bottom. And he currently sitting at the top and uh, strong score there. So, let's see if we can get any closer, shall we? Joystick. Let's begin. Right, oh, this is bringing me back to my childhood. Um, now, I was never great at this. I'm not gonna lie. But, as a kid, I did always enjoy playing it. It was one of the first games I got when I had my Amstrad. So, you know, properly oh, getting into the groove of it. That was not good, because that's affected my combo now. But there are a lot of enemies on screen now. That's a bonus. That's an extra life, I will definitely take that. But there we go, that's the first level done. And I think that's the best I've ever actually done on this game. So, right, let's start out at the bottom here for this one. Can I get that without falling down? No, okay. So yeah, um, it's a fairly simple concept, this game. Um, it's fairly, you know, it's a neat old concept as well. Oh, I hit the enemy just as the power up was on the screen. Um, again, we'll start at the bottom then. Um, whoops. But yeah, you know, jumping around the screen, collecting bombs. Nope. Ah, uh, I had no chance there. The, you know, these graphics look nice. They're not quite as detailed as the... I'm just going to... 
collect these as they come now I think I'm not going to uh, stand on ceremony here yeah they're not as nice as the arcade version obviously but um, they are whoops, more than pulling their weight most definitely you know we can see what's going on here oh missed that one so yeah Oh, there's those weird orbs I mentioned in the intro. I don't know what they're supposed to be. I don't know why, but as a kid, whoops, I always thought they looked a bit like sort of furnaces. I don't know why, but... Kid me was an idiot. Uh, okay, I'm gonna collect this one, get these orbs over here, try and avoid them. to get away. Oh, this is getting hectic. Come on. Come on, Jack. You got this. There we go. I'm doing all right here. I'm kind of quite pleased with myself. I don't know if I should be or not. Oh, uh, great. Okay, so that bird's guarding this one. One thing I do like about this game is the fact that you've got a, you can control your jumps in the, oh I missed that one, I want that though. You can control your jumps and sort of stop jumping in mid-air by pressing the jump button again and it's what allows you to sort of glide a little bit like that. Um, that's pretty cool. It really does have some extra life which is definitely useful so yeah it does allow a degree of control well this is not going to be nice is it yes well oh, wrong button there avoid that mummy I am not even going to bother trying to uh... how am I supposed to get the get these top ones I don't know my jumps not high enough well what I do know aha well I'll get that there we go and now it cycles back and we've got a new layout so let's start over here yes I thought I remembered where how that went so now we're down at the bottom which is good because it means that we don't have to go near the bottom right now now if I'm correct that's all of the bombs 23 sparking bombs yes and that gives you a nice bonus if you can collect them all in a sequence it doesn't very really happen often with me because I occasionally get a little bit whoops, impatient with where the enemies are well Um, oh right, I was going to say what happened there, but yeah, obviously I ran into an enemy. Let's get this one. I'm going to get these here, again, like I said, you know, this was just for the sake of making this a little bit easier. But here we go, we're continuing, we're still going strong. I've got one life left, but... Uh, it's a bonus. Can I get that? I can. I don't want to be up over there, do I? I mean, look at that. That's a mess. Ah, oh, that's handy though. Come here, you. Get all of you. I'm not bothered about the other ones. 
Oh, at the moment, oh, I nearly got hit by a mummy there, or robot, or whatever they're supposed to be. I, I, in the manual, or wherever it was I read it, I heard that they were supposed to be mummies, and I missed that last one, and now they're not going to let me get it, are they? Um, so, yeah, I mean, they look like robots. Where am I starting? Right, well, I'm getting, oh, I was going to say, I'm getting these because there will be an enemy that will spawn there. And it did. They're spawning everywhere. Oh, that was a bad place to land. That was good, though. I don't want to get sort of boxed in there. Well, you know what I said about getting boxed in? Oh, we have a zero life. Nice. Let's get down there and get that bomb before anybody notices we're here. Okay, tenth level. This is the, the bomb layout of the first level, but with no. Oh. Start completely, but with no uh, platforms is what I meant to say there. Laters, losers. Okay. There's not really, <laughs> not really an awful lot more that you can really say about this. We are bouncing around the screen, collecting bombs. Um, birds, come over this way. Oh, for crying out loud, come on. Fine. I'll just collect all of you and your mates as well. Okay, that one was fairly simple. We're liking this thus far. We like simple levels. Like some more when that um, P power up turns up. I used to remember me and my brother playing this because we were very childish when we were we were younger. And we kind of still are, to be honest with you. When we always used to see that pea power up flying around, we always used to, to look at it and go, I need a pea! I need a pea! Well, that was lucky. Uh, so yeah, shout out to my brother for being very childish with me. You know, when we were children. <laughs> well, nope, that, oh, that's it, I'm cooked. Yep, game over. That's quite possibly the best run I've ever, ever had in Bomb Jack, to be honest with you. I'm happy with that. I am in with the best bombers. Enter my name. Well, I most definitely will do. I am Retribution. And we are at the top. We knocked Andy W off the top of the best bombers leaderboards. Look at that. 155,550. And for not having played this game in over a decade, I think that's, that's not a bad effort. So, right. Yes, Bomb Jack. Let's talk about it. Okay, this game definitely takes me back to my childhood. Lots of childhood memories here. I don't know whether or not I'm going to call it nostalgia, but definitely bringing back childhood memories, definitely. Um, so what do I think of Bomb Jack? It's a fun little game. It really is. Um, I can see it being a bit more successful as a home port than as an arcade game because of the fact that, you know, you don't need to pump coins in to play the game. Uh, my biggest gripe with it is, even though it changes layouts, it does get a little bit repetitive. Um, so I don't know quite how that would translate to a coin guzzling arcade game. Uh, but after the first few levels, if I realised it recycled layouts and stuff, I don't know whether or not I'd be interested in, in sticking around to play it a bit more. As a home port, it's, it's definitely more... I don't know if the word is accessible. Um, I just think it works better as a home a home computer, home port, 
um, format. So yeah, it's um, it's a fun little game, but like I said, it's just a little bit repetitive. Amstrad Action rated it at 84%. I don't know if I'd agree with that, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, let's have a look at my leaderboard. What's the closest up there? I mean, we got Hudson Hawk, Batman and Robocop all at 85% and Yi Kong Fu 80. Now, I like those a hell of a lot more than I like Bomb Jack. Not saying that I don't like Bomb Jack because I do like playing it. As I said, it's a fun game. Um, but I might have to knock it down a little bit. Um, and I think, I mean, I definitely like Yi Kung Fu over it. So I'm probably going to put it down in the 75s there, I think. Um, do I like it more than Mario Brothers? Definitely. Do I like it more than Donkey Kong? Definitely. Do I like it more than Double Dragon? The Amstrad port? Yes. Do I like it more than Shinobi? Surprisingly not, actually. I reckon I'd rate shinobi over bomb jack um but there we go yeah i reckon i'd give i'd give bomb jack about 75 i'd pop it in there i reckon it's a fun game you know the the layout changing does give it a bit of longevity but it does start getting a bit repetitive after a while uh which is a shame but i mean it looks good the sound effects well they're there they're not irritating and they do what they need to do yeah overall nice fun little game 75 i think is solid let me know what you thought in the comments thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you for the next one so until then catch you later bye bye